Hello everyone, my name is Jocelyn Jones and I'm the founder of Faith on the Journey and I want to welcome you to part four of Grief Myths. This is the final lesson for this particular series and if this is your first time watching, I encourage you to check out the previous videos on our Faith on the Journey YouTube channel. But today I want to talk about this myth that you have to have the right thing to say in order to support someone who's grieving. The reality is there, there aren't no perfect words that you can say to someone who's experienced a loss. And when you try to find a perfect thing to say, sometimes we can actually do more harm than good. I remember really struggling with this. Whenever I came across someone who was grieving, I would find myself stumbling over my words and sometimes saying some pretty stupid things, if I'm honest. And, and that's because I would get nervous and I, I would want to be helpful, but I, I realized that I also was just so uncomfortable seeing someone who I cared about in pain. And I really wanted to just take that pain away. But I've learned that it's not my responsibility to make someone feel better. That person has to go through their process of experiencing the pain from that loss. But what I can do is be present for them. And one thing we have to learn is the power of presence. Without saying a word, being present with someone in their pain, in their suffering can speak volumes. Just providing them with a safe space to cry and to share their heart without judgment can minister to that person in ways that words never could. People just need to know that you care for them and they don't need to put on this face in front of you to make you feel comfortable. So the next time you encounter someone who's grieving, just remember that you don't have to have the perfect words to say. Just being present with them makes a difference. So that's it for our Grief Myth series. And for more resources on grief, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our ministry website at faithonajourney.org. Again, that's faithonajourney.org. So until next time, be blessed and stay encouraged on your journey.